Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors Channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It is bright, it's early. Sorry, I missed you guys yesterday. I'm gonna jump right into the charts, make this one quick as we're seeing a bit of volatility around the market. And what do I see here? Total, uh, total market cap, that is $1 trillion. All the coins in the world, right? All the cryptos, the total market cap. Um, <clears throat> just, just barely uh, tagging that yellow 21 and putting in a drive of what's it called? Uh, hidden uh, bullish divergence coming back from this level right here. You're going to have one, two, three, four drive. So how would we confirm this as a local low? I would say closing back above this level is going to be very bullish for all the cryptos in general. So keep an eye on that one. Check out NASDAQ here today as we did have the PP Lies report. PP Lies and CP Lies, you know, uh, the tyrannical tyrants up at Washington DC and the guys that put out these reports, you think they don't get the numbers before we get the numbers? You're crazy if you think that's the case. PPI and CPI. I thought the report already came out. Nope, that is Thursday. Tomorrow's PPI. Today, yeah, it just came out, you know, slightly higher than expected for inflation at 3.7%. So yes, they are stealing 3.7% of your money or your purchasing power every single, I would say every month. But anyways, it's, uh, I think that's on a that was for August, the month of August, and core inflation at 4.3. Anyways, we'll get some more data tomorrow. Like I said, probably the big day is going to be Friday, the quadruple witching, and um, that's going to be the 15th. So what am I seeing here? You know, again, I, I, I spoke about this. I call it the snake eyes pattern. So this was, I believe, the pattern, uh, yeah, right here. That was the reversal to the downside. Could this be the reversal to the upside? Well, um, what could give us a bias for some upside actions? Well, if we see a closure above 25.5 today, 25.500, that will goose the odds in the favor of the bulls on the two-day time frame, which could give us that test of this trend line. Easily, you can get a 20% move off the two-day 20% would probably take us all the way back to the top side of the range. If we get back into the triangle, well, that's going to be your first warning actually uh, for the bulls. But I think the rally is going to get faded. Uh, so ultimately, we'll be looking for some downside targets. Um, daily time frame did not make a lower low, just held on. So technically, you know, trade the range, buy here, sell here, buy here, sell here. Most likely to bounce uh, a little bit more. And Dixie is being a bit volatile this morning. Look at the 15 minute time frame, just trapping people all over the place. When inflation goes up, what do you think happens? It shows Jerome Powell ain't doing his job. He ain't doing his job either. Either is Yellen, either is Biden, either is anybody on the radical left, right? They're just tearing the country down and that's why we own Bitcoin. It is your opportunity to opt out and become self-sovereign, own your own wealth. Um, extremely passionate about this, especially right now, as more and more stuff is coming to light. Um, I'm going to wrap this one up here quick and say, hey, look, the cones, the cone, the cone is playing out, trapping everybody to the upside of the downside. Where do the big moves come? Well, um, Typically, when volatility expands from the higher term time frames. So what's probably more to come uh, before we get the big move, which is probably going to be on the weekly time frame as volatility begins to expand. We want to see expansion above 25%. And that's going to give you the 50% move. We haven't done Jack Beanstalk uh, since volatility started expanding. Well, just a slight move to the downside, just a little tick, a little ticky tap. And so we are waiting for Friday to see how the market digests, what the market makers do. Uh, NASDAQ's, you know, to be fair, holding on by tooth and nail, S&P doing the same thing. And uh, yeah, 
I will be back tomorrow with some more updates. I don't really have a clear, um, you know, a clear target for this one. I'd say the four hour range, if you are going to be looking for something a little more uh, immediate, you know, the four hour range is going to be a break above this week or this week. So big range doesn't help anybody. Two hour range. This week and this week, probably going to get that next two hour move. And, um, you know, right now we're just still in the range, still doing nothing sideways burger. And that's it for today, guys. Hope you have a blessed one. Take care.